<laughs> that is her choice now. <laughs> so thank you very much for everything you've done for our village for all these years. Appreciate it. Thank you. Any other trustees like to make any comments? No, I just echo it. You know, I've known you the whole time you've been here, and uh, it's always mixed emotions when you see somebody that's been a really great officer. I know you have been there a long time, and you have other plans, but we're going to be sorry to see you go. I'd like to say that I got to be there when you came on board, and it is uh, quite a thing to be here when you say goodbye. You've been an honorable man serving our village, and I thank you so much. Really. Be very proud. Be very proud. I just want to say thank you, and uh, Bonnie comes out here. Uh, I know that uh, you're well, well respected amongst your kids, um, and uh, you know anybody that uh, makes it to that uh, release point. Uh, military terminology makes it to the release point and gets to where you're at. You know, my hat goes off to you. You served our community well, and I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Last, we have a proclamation. The Village of Ocean Year proclamation. Whereas Patrolman Anthony J. Pitt has announced the retirement of the Village of Ocean Police Department effective December 31st, 2011, after a distinguished 22 year career. And whereas Patrolman Pitt started his law enforcement career with the Orange County Sheriff's Office in March of 1989. In February 1999, he was hired by the Town of Blooming Grove Police Department and in July of 1995 transferred to the Village of Ocean Police Department where he served with honor for the last 16 years. And whereas Anthony also served his country for three years in the United States Army as a military policeman, and whereas Patrolman Pitt served as Department Terminal Agency Coordinator for NYSPIN System, Air Instructor, School Resource Officer, Vice Patrol Officer, General Topics Instructor, and Field Training Officer, and whereas Patrolman Pitt has served as Chairman of the Village of Goshen PBA Golf Tournament and has maintained and presented the Village of Goshen PBA John H. Egerton Senior Memorial Scholarship, and whereas Patrolman Pitt was named Officer of the Year in 2009 for his use of CPR AED to save the life of the village resident, be it therefore proclaimed, I, Kyle Roddy, Mayor of the Village of Goshen, duly recognize Patrolman Anthony J. Pitt for 22 years of dedicated professional service. And witness here to us, I have here to assign my name and cause the seal of the Village of Goshen to be affixed on this 19th day of December 2011. Jerome Pitt, thank you very much. On behalf of myself, the Village Board, and the entire staff of the Village of Goshen, I'm going to come right off. Uh, on top of the proclamation, we'd like to award you this plaque. It reads, Patrolman Anthony J. Pitt, thank you for your years of distinguished service to the citizens of the Village of Goshen. Thank you very much. I hope you guys aren't wondering if I'm going to say anything, because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to say much. Uh, I just want to thank the guys here in blue. Uh, I'm still going to be a family, hopefully, but uh, thank you.
after that, we can speak to, you know, if we, I'd like to bring in some real estate consultants and things like that, but this is really the first step, no matter what we do. Um, we don't have to vote on it tonight. People want to wait a few weeks, but just because we don't meet, next week is the holiday. If the board's in favor of this, I'd like us to move on this tonight. Um, I don't know if anyone has any questions. Though. Well, I thought it could be, now it's that one color. That work was just to do the, the grading, the planting of all of the site, right. just in terms of the post-closure work. Yeah, but I'd be in favor of as fast as we can to get it ratified and get somebody looking at it and right. move it on down the road. Yeah, I'm ready. Right. I think yeah. we can vote on it. I, okay. I think it's a reasonable enough price for yeah, the absolutely. assessment for us to be able to see what kind of return we can get on. Right. Yeah. It's really what we need because my thought, and we've also talked about this, is having the village begin the process of getting it approved. Right. Because any potential buyer is going to want to know that it's already approved and they're not going to have to wait two years to build there. People want to build in six months or less these days. They want it fast. And it's a, a tough market already, so anything we can do, and it also adds value to the site. And a not approved <laughs> site is going to be worth a fraction of the cost of something that's already been you approved. You won't be able to move it without that. Correct. So, um, if everyone's in favor, I'll, I'll ask for a motion. So moved. Second. Second. All right, all in favor for accepting Lekintelli's proposal for the feasibility study, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, thank you. Last thing we have, uh, I just wanted to have a discussion with the board about the public hearing that we had last week over towing. Um, one of the concerns that was brought up was that the towing rates were not high enough. Um, and I know that uh, Pete did, did a little research on this. Do you want to speak to that, Pete? Yeah, I, I did a little research. I called a couple of places, and but what I did was I just called AAA, and AAA Orange County uh, will pay up to one hundred fifty dollars a tow. Now they didn't. There's nothing to do with storage to that, but AAA will pay one hundred fifty bucks if you you have a AAA member in for for towing. Um, I discussed it with Chief. And uh, he had reached out to a neighboring community to Washingtonville, he said, and that's where he kind of got his figures from, just to find out what they're at. But then they, he reached out to them, but it's not like they re revamped their rates any time in the near, in the last while or anything else like that. Plus the fact that, um, so those aren't necessarily accurate rates. Right? But everywhere where I've went to, it's been a hundred plus dollars total. And we have two. and storage wise, uh, the sixty five dollars, and it's you know it was reasonable in, in every aspect of places that I checked out as well. I want to support what he's saying because uh, I think one of the things that we learned from our discussion last week was that even though we were looking to raise the rates to make them more timely, uh, it appears that we weren't raising them to anything that was not going to cause people to violate our own law. Right. Therefore, I think that uh, people proposed it seems much more realistic. And then, you know, when you put it all together, <coughs> I think the, the one thing that has to be clarified is, is the, the, the towing order. And one of the things that was brought up is when you pick up a car, the 24-hour starts when they hook up to that car, yeah. not starts, okay, so if I pick a car up at, uh, you know, took today at 8 o'clock in the evening, it, the 24-hour the storage fee starts from 8 o'clock in the evening, so they get, so in other words, once somebody's car gets hooked up, they can get it out an hour later. But they're still paying sixty-five dollars for one day of storage. That's, that's I guess, the point that I'm trying to bring up. So they pay a hundred-dollar tow fee plus sixty-five dollars for storage, whether it's there an hour or whether it's there a day, and that's how it's calculated. So, and I, I think you know the town. One of the <coughs> some of the issues that we've also addressed and addressed in the letter we got here tonight. I think it was Neil that brought this up. The town visited this before us. And there was this issue about the one towing company having three separate entities and how that gets dealt with. I know the town has already established a policy for that. Isn't that correct? 
Joel mentioned last time. Joel? Yeah, I think it was Joel. Okay, okay I'm sorry. That's okay. But it's definitely something that we could reach out to the town and find out what they do, and I think um, that was addressed in the letter that we got tonight as well. Um, but just before we move on, based on letters we received and Pete's research, and I think Marcia agreed, and Mel, seems like you agreed, do we want to move it to 165? We're in agreement on that? One hand, me. Correct. Yeah. Alright. So, Meg, I guess we would need to have a new public hearing on a new local law then, right? Uh, no, 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 no. No, we just reacted to what was said by the public. Exactly. Yeah, we make our determination. And here's that determination. And now, it's not considered a new local law. No. We went back with the information that they had to do it. I mean, at least the way. Yeah, I don't think we need another one. Okay. No, you don't. If it's if our alternate vote on what was presented okay. and considered. Well, if that's the case, we're all in agreement. How does everyone feel about voting right now? I think that we have to address the the. Yeah, let's talk to the town first about that one all separate. Entity. Well, it's two separate. There's two separate things. The towing policy is about the different entities. That's right. And policy the order and the 24 hour thing. The in the village code, it has the number. The yeah. rates. Policy is not incorporated into the code. So are we going to do that this time, though? Well, we no? no. It's two separate things. The public hearing was only for the rates. Right now, we have to do a public hearing for. Well, that's what I'm asking. Policy. No, the policy doesn't require a public hearing. That's okay. just the that's that's protocol right. procedure. Right. But that's, that's what I guess we need to talk to the town about right. or anyone else for right. Right. to find out how they work the three different companies. Right. Um, yeah. I'm suggesting we wait for the public hearing because there was so much public interest. And we don't normally pass laws here. So I have another public hearing? Yeah, no, no. No, no. no, no. We'll do it at our next meeting. Monday, it's the monthly meeting. Well, I mean, the only point I'm bringing up is, I mean, are we, I think we're all, or at least I am, I don't know about anybody else, we're in concurrence that it, uh, the, the rate is okay at 165 for storage. Correct. That's one component. Correct. component. Mm -hmm. That's just the towing fee. Yes. So the only other thing that we really need to address is the policy for who gets called. Yes. Now to me, I don't think that it should even be our call to be the policy. It should be, I mean, the police are the ones that are calling them for the tunnel. Well, the police, the chief puts them together okay. for us just to ratify. So oh, they can use, yeah, so they can use they Basically, technology. he's put it together, given it to what I didn't ask him about that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I mean, I think that, you know, if he says that, yes, I think that, you know, that there's only one company with the other ones, then these are the companies that we recognize or whatever. Go from there. That's fine. Yeah, I agree with you. If, if he's okay. in favor, I'd be in favor of that. So, okay. Well, they're really two different votes, though. Correct. Right. They're two different yeah. things, yeah. So the other one can go on the price, can go on the agenda for the next meeting, and we'll take care of it, and then can then give us enough time to talk to the chief. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else have anything? No. I just want you to know that we have had, uh, you know, in looking to spend the grant that came down uh, from Justice, uh, Trying to make a way of a meeting with contractors to discuss what we're going to be doing in this room, and we're going to be coming to you as well because there is some damage in the soffit on the exterior on this side. I'm sure you've noticed, but if not, look up that we're going to have to talk about in the near future in the next work session. Okay. I also had communication from the county on the uh, law that I was looking for, and uh, of course they sent it to me at 4 o'clock today. So uh, we'll discuss that in the next one. I uh, I just just briefly no I went around rode around with Michael. I had the day off today and I rode around with him for a while. Wow. I think you can see that we pretty much got all of there's just a few pockets of leaves and there's some areas with some branches still. He expects to have that all done by tomorrow. Uh, and I went out and looked at this project. This project is some project out there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the trunk, the trunk line. Transition trunk it's, it's, line. It's some piece of work. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. It's uh, very impressive. That's it. All right. I guess that's it. Thank you very much, everyone. Mm -hmm. I just have one other thing I just wanted to talk about. It's actually, you know, if you guys, something with um, personnel, I try to have it on the camera. You want the camera off? Yeah. If you. If